Hello and welcome to Introduction to Psychology. I wanted to start by giving you an orientation to our Moodle page and what our class will entail and get you started on the right track. So this is our Moodle page, it's organized by week, uh, but the first section that says start here will cover all the basics that you'll need to go throughout the course um, and you'll want to come back to this section frequently. Um, I've got some tips and pointers here to help familiarize and you should familiarize yourself with them. Um, if you have questions, uh, right here is the help form for question and answers among students. I encourage you to ask and answer questions here and I will give you extra credit for participating in this forum either by asking or answering questions. Um, after that you'll see that everything's organized by week and throughout the week you should work your way through each section. Um, within the week I've organized it by the different chapters we'll cover and we'll generally cover two to three chapters per week. Um, so going back to the general information, you want to make sure to review the syllabus carefully. You should probably print it out and just have a copy with you on hand. Uh, and uh, this is what it looks like. I'll go over it now, but you should read it over on your own as well to make sure you really understand it. Um, I've got my contact information here. Email is the best way to contact me, and I'll respond to emails during the week within 24 hours. It may take me longer on weekends, though. And be aware that because all of your assignments are due on Sunday nights, uh, if you wait till Saturday to email me, I won't be able to help you. So please make sure to look at all of the assignments and start doing the work during the week so you have time to contact me with questions. Uh, the syllabus also has a course description and course goals as well as your textbook, which is very important in an online class because that's where you'll get most of your information. Um, just something to note down here. Uh, we will cover a lot of material in a short period of time. Uh, when you look at the total class time during the fall and spring semester, a five-week summer course should take about nine hours per week. So be aware that that's a substantial time commitment. Um, there's three big things that you can do to help yourself. Uh, first, stay on top of the material. So read the textbook, review the outlines and other materials, and do those things early and more than once. Uh, next, do the assignments. Uh, the assignments are designed to help you understand the material, so please make sure you do them for your own benefit. And finally, ask questions. So you can ask me questions early, or if you have questions at the last minute, you can try the help forum to ask your peers. In terms of evaluation, there will be a quiz on the syllabus that you need to take. You have to take the quiz in order to stay in the class, so make sure you do that. Um, 40% of your grade is the assignments. Uh, we generally will have two assignments per week, which will be due on Sundays at 11.55, unless otherwise noted. Um, the last week of class, everything is due on Thursday instead, so make sure you make note of that. Tests will be 60% of your grade. There's one test for each chapter that's covered, which makes 11 tests total. And you can take each test only once. Uh, each test will be 20 multiple choice questions, and you'll have 25 minutes. And again, all tests are due on Sunday at 11.55, unless otherwise noted. And tests cover reading, plus any other additional materials like uh, videos that I post on Moodle. Um, I've also got a bunch of class policies and procedures, which I won't go over now, but you should make sure to familiarize yourself with them. So make sure to read these over. If we go back to our Moodle page, the second really important document right here is the course schedule. The course schedule looks like this, and again, I've broken it down by week, and essentially this parallels what's on Moodle, and it tells you what you need to do each week. What I recommend is that you print this off and check off items when you finish them. So in our first week, uh, we will cover some introductory assignments. Um, I've got a forum that I'd like you to do to introduce yourself, uh, and, a, and the syllabus quiz that I already mentioned that you have to do to make sure you've read the syllabus and understand them. So once you finish those things, you can do them and check them off the course schedule. Uh, then we will jump right into chapter one. So you're going to read the chapter in the book, look at the outline and expand on it based on what you've learned from the book. Then I have a video that gives some examples of experimental design and another one that describes the case of Clever Hans, which is a great example uh, of the importance of critical thinking in the scientific method. Um, next, you have uh, the correlations and experiments worksheets, and that uh, you'll need to download the Word document. So let me just show you. This is the, uh, the course schedule, but this is what it looks like on our actual Moodle page. And so to do the first assignment, you'll need to download this Word document, um, save it, and complete it. So save it somewhere where you can find it, and then you'll upload it um, right here. Um, 
and the correlations part of it, you'll just have to guess what you think the correlation would be between the two constructs. So there's not necessarily a right answer, um, but you need to take kind of an educated guess. Um, once you complete the worksheet, you're going to save it and then upload it here. Um, the second chapter that we're covering this week is learning, which is chapter five. So note that the first week of the uh, first bit of the class will skip around. Um, again, you're going to read the chapter. I've got an outline for you. Um, I've got a bunch of videos for you to watch and identify different aspects of the examples. Um, and once you've done that, I also have the answers for you to look at once you've kind of taken your guesses. So sometimes uh, some of the things with regards to classical or operant conditionings are kind of a tricky concept. Uh, and so these are the types of questions I'll ask you. So it's really good practice. Um, your assignment for this chapter uh, is more practice identifying the important components and examples. And then once you finish the, the examples and the assignment and feel good about it, then you'll take the chapter test. So that's the basic structure of how this class will work. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me via email. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you and reading um, a, a little bit about you on the Introduce Yourself forum.